Hey guys, my name's Jan. I make new videos every Friday, so please make sure you subscribe down below and you hit that bell notification button to be notified either on your phone or by email of when I upload a new video, which of course is every Friday, so you'll be notified then. And let's get started with the video. So welcome everyone. This week I have decided to finally do a haul from when I came back from my three capital cities in a week. They were Dublin in Ireland, Edinburgh in Scotland and London in England. So Dublin. I spent four days in Dublin over the bank holiday because I could. And I really wanted to go to Ireland, as you probably have already found out. So I brought back a couple of things from Ireland, which I thought were very special for me. First one I brought back is, of course, some nice whiskey fudge. You know me, you know I like my whiskey. Irish whiskey fudge will be a real treat for when I go back to university. I also brought back a film, which is The Flag. It's an Irish film which I had watched when I went to Washington DC on the way out on Erlingus. It's a very good film. What it's about is in 2016, a man living in London has to go back because his father dies. He has to go back to Ireland and they discover that his granddad had raised the flag above the, uh, the post office tower in, the post office tower, above the general post office in Dublin during the Easter Rising and he signed his name on it and the idea is that he gets the flag from the British because the British as a mark of disrespect are holding it upside down in an army barracks. It's a very good film, it's very funny, I wouldn't say it really covers the Easter Rising well but of course it was filmed because it was the 100th anniversary of the Easter Rising and that's what it's really about. It's a very good film, it's very light-hearted, I'd really recommend it. Plus I have to get this in Ireland because you can't actually get it in Britain very easily. I also got a nice book, it's a nice reading book, it's called The Dubliners. I can't seem to find it at the moment but I've got the Penguin edition and it's a book by James Joyce, I think, which discusses Dublin in a few like short stories about Dublin life. Really recommend getting that, it's one of the recommended books that you get from Dublin as well as Ulysses, which weirdly enough was the boat that I went on to Dublin. And finally, because I'm a law student, of course I had to get myself a little token of law in Ireland, so I got myself the Irish Constitution, or Bion Rach Nye Iran. I'm guessing that's the best way to pronounce it. I got this out of Eason's, which is a big bookstore in Dublin. And it's a great little book, it's a nice little token mentor, and it's really good because all the articles of the Constitution are in both Irish slash Gaelic, depending on what you want to call it, and in English, because that's the way the Irish Constitution is written and everything in Ireland is required to be in both languages. Next, there was Edinburgh in Scotland, and that was surprisingly only a day trip because it's quick enough to get to from the Midlands. And there's a few things I brought back. I'm going to explain a couple of things that we did first. Uh, eight, I then went to the park by Prince's Street. I can't think of the name. In between Prince's Street, it's a famous park, anyway. Then we did Edinburgh Castle, did a whiskey shop, walked down the Royal Mile, down to Holyrood. And in Holyrood, I went in the Scottish Parliament and I had a tour of the Scottish Parliament which means that I've got the Northern Irish Parliament and, surprisingly, the English Parliament to do because I've already done the Welsh Parliament. Then I went up a hill and got a nice view of Edinburgh, but it wasn't Arthur's seat. Anyway, so of course I brought back some things from Edinburgh. As per usual, I came back with a Scottish banknote. It's Clydesdale tenor, got Robert Burns on, and it's a polymer note, so hopefully it means that I can keep using it because they're changing the currents, well, they're changing the notes in this country, and it's technically classed as a plastic note and not a paper one. So hopefully it should be all right. Then I went in the Scottish Parliament, which is Holyrood, 
and these were free but I'd really recommend getting you can also get Welsh ones about the Scottish Parliament just some little brief guide so I've got an idea of what happens in the Scottish Parliament I've also got myself this very nice key ring from the Scottish Parliament just for university for next year it's got the Scottish Parliament Parliament ni Halba and one nice little book I brought back from Holyrood as well which I got in the Parliament is this which is the Public Affairs Guide to Scotland Influencing Policy and Legislation as you know I have an interest in uh, parliamentary stuff uh, especially between devolved governments but what was funny about this book is that this is about the Scottish Government and is made by the Welsh Academic Press so that was Edinburgh and finally to finish off my haul today I went to London I was only to go and visit some family and the weather wasn't the greatest so it weren't really a good day to record however I did end up in a couple of bookshops which me and bookshops means only one thing buying books so this is what I brought back from London from Foils in London which is a bookshop like Waterstones but there's not many of them I got this International Law Revision Guide Concentrate Book for about a tenner in foils and it's really good and I'm going to use this not that I'm studying international law but I have a lot of interest in international law. From foils as well I got the Constitution to the United Kingdom which is again another little book that I'm going to enjoy. It's a Peter Leyland book which he I've read a couple of his books before and they are very good when he talks about constitutional stuff. As you can see I do a lot of stuff to involve constitution, government and devolution in the UK which I should explain what devolution is and maybe that's a video idea. Finally because you know how much I love constitution and you know that I do law and American studies for a pound out of Waterstone. I couldn't resist. This is the constitution of the United States. And I even got the title right without looking. Oh yeah it's on the back. It's a pound out of Waterstones, really good little guide to the American Constitution. It means I've not got to actually look it up online and make it much, much easier when I do my course. So that's really a little haul of what I brought back from my three capital cities. I hope you've enjoyed some of the clips or photos of the time. If you've enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a big like down below and a comment to say something about the video that you enjoyed. Uh, if you know anything about the constitution of the UK because we don't actually have a constitution as such. If you're new to my channel and you enjoyed this video or if you're new to my channel anyway make sure you press that subscribe button down below. Make sure you click on that bell notification button to be notified either by phone or by email of when I next upload a video which of course is every Friday so please make sure you keep an eye out. If you've also enjoyed my video, you might want to follow me on Twitter and Snapchat. I post on there quite frequently, whether it's a new video or whether it's just discussing some things or whether you can see what I'm doing, make sure you follow me on there. And of course, last week's video is at the end. That was discussing things about university that I have brought, like another hall. I think it's called another hall actually, of university. Make sure you go and check that out if you're going to university or if you're not especially if you're doing a law or American studies degree because it's got some really good recommendations on there. And anyway, I'll see you all next week for a new video. Goodbye. Why don't you click subscribe? Make sure you check out last week's video. Why not follow me on Twitter or Snapchat?